What's going on, y'all? Uh, my name's Ethan. This is my first official video. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing around at Bowers Disc Golf Course in Tuscaloosa, and this is my Get to Know Me video. So I'm going to be answering three questions in this video. I'll answer them at each of the holes after I make my first throw on them. Uh, and I hope that you're excited to get into this, and I'm excited to start this channel with y'all. So I'll see y'all at the first hole. Alright guys, I made it to my first tee pad. Uh, I'm going to be throwing a diamond. It's around 350 to 450 feet. Uh, and yeah, this is an 8631. I'm going to try it out. And uh, it's got a cut to the right, so I hope this is the right disc to throw. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, that's not too bad. Got a little bit of a roll off the ground with it, but I'm proud of that throw. Uh, but yeah, so let's get up there, and I'll be answering my first question. So my first throw landed right here. I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, it went around maybe 200 feet, 180, somewhere around there. I'm pretty proud of it. That red basket over there, I don't know if you can see it. I'm probably blocking it right over there uh that's where i'm throwing to i'm gonna throw a mid-range out there but to answer my first question is uh why did i start disc golf what got me into it well i started back in 2020 uh back whenever there wasn't nothing to do it was around october 2020 so coming to that really you know you got covid you got nothing to do area uh and i mean i just wanted to do something so my my buddy and I, a little later after I played the first couple of my games, started playing with each other. We entered a tournament, and we started playing a good bit after that. We did pretty good, uh, but I kind of fell off of it, and he kept playing. And recently, we uh, played together again, and I decided I want to get back into it. He started a YouTube channel, uh, and I will link that into the description, and his name will be right here. Uh but yeah, I just wanted to get back into it because I, I need to get out more. So yeah. But let's see what we can do about this throw right here. Maybe I can dodge those people over there. Oh, that was really not the best throw. But not the worst. I don't think I'm going to hit par with this, but I'll take what I can get. All right, so I landed up here right by this tree. I'll take that as a pretty good throw. I don't know that I'm going to be able to make it in par, but I can at least get it in and around four. I know that. But I'm going to try to take the shot, so I'll maybe make it in par. Um, I'm going to use a putter now. It's a Profit Blue Disc. I really like it. It's a pretty cool putter. Let's see what we can do with it. Nice, we got that in. I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, so that means we are par right now. So hey, I'm pretty proud of that. So let's get on the next hole. All right, now I'm on my second hole. Uh, this is also a par three. Uh, it is 272 feet. Uh, and now I'm gonna be throwing with my river. It is a 77 negative one one. It's a pretty good disc in my opinion. Uh, and it was the first one that I ever got an ace on with. And the only one, but hey, who knows, that might change soon. But right there, the basket is in between these two trees, so maybe I can get a straighter throw with it. It's not the best disc to try to ace with from this far, but I'd say it's pretty good, so let's try it out. Cut back a little? Nope. Alright, that's okay. I'll take that throw. It's pretty decent. But yeah, so let's get over to that next spot where I just hit, and I'll get on to that next question. Alright, well I landed about right here. This is about 35, 40 feet out maybe. Probably not that far. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. But that second question, what is my favorite disc? Well, it's definitely going to have to be the river, because I told you already, but I'll say it again. I aced my first hole with this. It was on 420, 2022 at Montevallo on hole 10. Me and my buddy Jonathan, we were out there playing. That's the guy whose YouTube I also said to go check out. So I'll put that right there again. Uh, but we were out there playing. And I throw this river out there and it's beautiful when it flies. It's like a yin yang thing. But it's beautiful when it flies and it goes in and it cuts back, goes right in there. It was perfect. But yeah, so this is my favorite disc and there's the reason why. But I'm gonna try to 
try to lay it right under the basket because there's I don't know if you can see it it's right in between those trees so I'm gonna try to cut around it and maybe just lay it right under the basket or get it near that way I can put it in so let's see how I can do we'll come back some hey that's decent I'll take it maybe I'll do pretty good with it we'll see whenever we get over there all right so right here is where I laid it pretty close to the basket I'm pretty sure I can put this good but yeah that was a pretty good throw I'm pretty proud of this game it's my best one so far I don't think I've ever been par around here but hey some can always change that but let's see what I can do there we go so I'm at par on hole one and hole two so let's get on to hole three all right well now we're on hole three and this is a pretty far one not the furthest but this one is 377 or 423. I don't know which one it is, but I'll be able to tell better when I get up to it. But I believe it is 423. So let's see how I can do on this. I'm going to be throwing a Millennium. That's a pretty straight flying disc if I can throw it straight. Uh, it shouldn't curve or dive too much. Uh, that way, <laughs> I can't think, to the left. Uh, but it should do good as long as I get my run up straight and I throw pretty straight out. So let's see how we can do with this. And hey, that's a pretty dang good throw if you ask me. It went into the bushes just a hair, but I think I can get out of there and get a pretty good throw out of there. So let's see how we can do with that. Alright, so my disc decided to land right here. It's not too bad. I think if I can get the right throw, I can get out of here. Now, it is a... Uh, it is straight ahead, I think. I think that is the basket. I'm not sure, though. Uh, but I'm going to go for that. Well, I've been throwing to the red baskets. But I think this one is a gray basket on this hole. Uh, but let's see what I can do to get out of here. Cut back a little. Hey, that's not too bad. I might be one over par on this one if I can't make it from there, but that's all good. Uh, but yeah, that third question. I almost forgot that. That third question is why YouTube? Well, why not? I want to start something with my start something with my life, I guess you could say. I work a everyday job, and I don't mind it. It's actually a pretty fun job. I think YouTube will give me something to do on the side to get me out, get active, you know. So I figured, why not try it out? My buddy started a channel, so why not I try a channel? I figure I can help bring disc golf out to the world and bring others closer to disc golf and bring others together. So yeah, that's why I want to start YouTube. But let's go see what I did at that throw. All right, guys. Well, I checked the U-Disc app, and it turns out I was wrong. It is that basket, the red one in there. But that's okay. If I have to take an extra throw on this, because I messed up, that's all good. I would have liked to go back and just be like, I haven't thrown yet, but let's get into this. But I don't want to lie to my fans. I want to keep a little fan base if I ever get good. So, uh, huh. I don't know if I want to throw it out this way or try to get back here and kind of curve it out that way. But I think what I'll do is try to throw it in there in that little bushy area. Oh. had a little skip to it i think i'm gonna get too over par because i messed myself up on that last throw but that's okay so let's see what we can do from here all right so right here's where i landed i would like to shoot and just land it under but i don't think that'd be fun for the video so i'm gonna try to get it in from here it would be one of my furthest puts if i do make this that would be pretty cool but let's see what I can do. Now I know, make sure to go for the red baskets and check you disc where I'm going. Let's see what we can do though. Oh, well, I did lay it right under, so I'll take that. But yeah, let's get up there and see if I can tap it in. I'm sorry if the video isn't super level. I tried to level it the best that I could, but right here's where I got, so. I'll take that. That's, let's see, that is two over now, which, hey, that's not too bad on this course. Uh, Bowers is kind of a hard course, so, hey, I'll take it. Let's get to the next hole. 
All right, now we're on hole four now. It is a part three. I'm having to throw around 323 feet. I'm going to use a resistor, which is a 6.540 3.5. And I think it's going to be a pretty good disc for that zero turn on it. Should go pretty straight in there if I don't throw it like that or that. But uh, yeah, I think this one will be pretty good. So let's see what we can do. Oh, right into the tree. Well, there goes me getting under par. <laughs> but all right, well, let's see what we can do from that tree. All right, well, it hit that tree. This is about 20, 30 feet away from where I first threw. But uh, I think I can redo that throw from here where it landed and uh, get a little bit closer with it. Uh, if I don't, I might just have to take this disc out of the bag. But let's see what I can do with it. Oh no, that is some really bad curvage. Thank God that tree was here, it hit it and it slowed it down. Man, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I threw it too much at an angle, I guess, but hey, that's okay. Let's go get from there and see how we can do. I landed right here. So I'm gonna throw with the mid range, try to get it curving up a lot more. Not like what I did with that disc, but get it to lay kind of near the basket. Cause I don't want to risk it and throw it too much and then not get it in there. But let's see what we can do with this. Oh. Well. Looks like I'm going for a par 5 again. Well. Right here is where I land it. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Maybe I can put it in. If not, I'll at least lay it near it. So let's see what we can do with this. Oh. So close. But I'll be able to tap it in from there. All right, so right here's where I landed. I went ahead and put my disc marker down and picked up my putter. I believe I can get this in pretty easy, but you never know. And there we go. I made it in. Oh, five on a par three. It ain't always the best thing to happen, but hey, it's better than plus eight. All right. Well, now I'm on hole five. It's a pretty straight shot, I think, right down the middle, kind of. So, I'm actually going to change out the disc I'm going to throw. I'm going to throw that Millennium again. Uh, fun fact, it's Millennial Falcon is what it's after. It's pretty cool. But uh, maybe I can get a straight shot with it without too much curvage. I see it right down there. Uh, I don't know if y'all can, but it's got a little bit of curve. But let's see what we can do on this, though. Oh, too much to the ground. Wow. I think that landed in a mound. Just straight in a mound. Well, we'll go find out in a minute. All right, guys. Well, right here's where I landed. The exact spot. So, I thought it went into a mound, but it just went into the side of a tree. I'm going to stick that right there. Should be pretty accurate. <laughs> but, yeah. It went a lot worse than what I thought it was going to go. But, hey, that's okay. I think we're just going to keep the show on the road. It is kind of right over this this hill. So with me right here. Oh man, that's not a good throw for me. That is not a good throw for me. And I'm not the best with backhands. So I might just try to get a big old chunk. But hey, I got to work on my backhand. So why not? Okay. It might curve back a little. Yeah. Hey, that wasn't a bad backhand if you ask me. Was it the fastest or the best? No. But was it bad? No. So, hey, I'll take that. I'm pretty proud of it. Let's get over there. All right. So, I landed right here. I want to say that's about 40 feet away from the basket. It's kind of a straight shot out that way. But I'm going to go ahead and put, try my skip put. Got to work on that too. So, let's see what I can do over here. Well, there we go. I shouldn't have footed that. I should have just thrown a mid-range. It's okay. I don't have the best score right now. So, hey, maybe I'll make it in par. Maybe I'll go over again. All right. So, I do have a slim chance to get it in par right now. Uh, it's real slim because I'm not the best with these shots. 
especially when they're around trees. I like to lean on them if I could, but rules are rules and I can't do that. So let's see what I can do right here. I'm gonna get that foot behind it though. Oh, too much to the side. Hey, plus one is better than plus two, so I'll take it. All right, so right here is where my disc laid, not too far from the basket. So, hey, I'm pretty proud of it. So, let's see what I can do with this and try to get it to where y'all can see it going in. Woo! So, there's plus one on this. So, right now, I'm plus five right now. I'd be happier if I was with par, just even. But, hey, I'll take what I can get. It's a pretty difficult course. All right. So, now we're on hole six. I'm going to throw my river again. Maybe I can get it to go that way because the hole is angled to the left a little. So, let's see what we can do right here. Come on, cut. Yep. Yeah. Hey, that was pretty good. It skipped up a little. I don't think y'all could see it. It did skip up, and a tree stopped it from going too far. So, hey, I'll take that. All right. So, right here is where it laid, and the basket's right there. So, I do kind of wish it did cut before the tree, but I am glad the disc stopped it, or the tree stopped it from going too far. I'm just going to have to chunk it over this and hope it lands near the basket. That way, I can get far. But uh, I think that's the only thing I can do besides throwing it out there and trying to take a long shot, which I don't want to do. So let's see what I can do with this. Right over. Hey, right near the basket. So I'll take that. That's a pretty good throw. And I'll see you all right at the basket. All right. So I didn't notice this till now. I landed right here behind a tree. But I think stepping out right here, leaning to the left a little, I can make this throw. I hope <laughs> so let's see how I can do with it maybe oh no I feel more trustworthy and leaning out to the left oh yeah there we go I'm taking par again now I do need to get a couple of birdies to do good to where I can get under par or at least at par by the end of this so let's see how we can do before we make the end all right so I'm on hole seven, and this one also cuts to the left a little bit. I don't know why I'm going for the red tees. It's not the best thing for me to do, but I'm going to throw a mint disc. It's a alpha. It's a bat skull. It's pretty cool. It is hard to see out here. I did lose it today earlier when I was playing at a different course, but hey, it cuts to the left a little, so if I throw straight out there right there, it should cut close and maybe not nick a tree. But let's see what I can do with it. Oh no. That curved too far. Well, I'll see what I can do from there. Alright, well as y'all can see, my disc landed right here. And I'm pretty deep in these woods. I didn't really want to bring y'all back here with me. I'm going to try to do what I did last time and just kind of chuck it up there towards my disc. See if I can get near it because if I'm not, I'm just going to have to take a drop instead. Let's see what I can do. Oh no, quit rolling. Oh man, it rolled me pretty far, but hey, maybe I can recover from that. So you can see I laid it right here. It's not the best, but hey, maybe I can get something out of it with this putt. I don't know. I'd like to, but we'll just see what I can do. Oh, oh man. That would have been amazing. I'll still take plus four instead of plus five. All right. Well, right here is where I laid it. It's not the best throw I've done, but it's not the worst. But, hey, I'll take it for what I can get out of it. And there we go. I also figured out I'm only going to be able to play nine holes instead of 18, which I would have loved to be able to play 18. But just with the sun setting, I can't do it. So I guess I'm not going to get under par today unless I just ace these next ones. But hey, it's all good. I'll take what I can get. All right, y'all. I'm on hole eight. I want to be throwing my river again. It's uh, that seven, seven, negative one, one. I'm going to throw it. It's 188, so it is a really short hole. So I'm just going to see what I can get out of this. Maybe if I throw it up through there not too fast, it will get a good curve on it. Come on. Oh, no. Well, dang, that was not a good throw. 
I'm pretty disappointed in that. All right, well, here's where my disc landed, and that's how far the basket is. So I'm gonna just see if I can cut it right through these two trees. I really hope I can. Let's see what I can do. Oh, lady, no! <laughs> that was too much force behind that throw. But hey, it's all good. I'll take it. All right, well, I'm up here. This is where I landed, so I'm hoping I can make this, but it'd be a pretty cool shot. But let's see what I can do. I'm gonna granny put it because I'm not too confident, but hey, let's see what I can do. No! Right under the tripod. Well, I got one more hole after this, so hey, that's okay. Well, my disc landed right here. See what I can do with this. Oh no! What is up with my game? Well, I'll just go ahead and walk it and tap it in right there. Hey, I thought that was going to be an easy hole. It did trick me up. Well, all right. Well, let's get on to hole nine. All right. I'm on my last hole now. I would love to play 18, but as you can see, it's a golden hour right now. That sun is just setting. So I'm going to throw me a mentor. It's an 11 5 negative 2 2. So I'm going to see what I can do with this. The basket's up there to the left once again. But let's see how I can do. Oh no. I don't want to take that, but I'm going to. It's all good. Let's get up there and hey, maybe I'll make par this time. All right. So right here's where I landed. I'm going to try to curve it around this because the basket is straight ahead of me. And I got some trees that I'm sure I'm going to hit if I don't. So let's just see what I can do with this. And just lay down right there. Oh my gosh. If I threw it straight, I would have done better. All right. Well, I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm trying to putter on it. I probably shouldn't because it's a pretty far shot. But hey... You got to do what you got to do sometimes. Let's see what I can do. Oh my gosh. Dang it. That was just horrible. Well, I'm going to get over there and see what I can do. Right here is where I laid it. I think I can possibly put it in. I ain't got no confidence for it. But we'll see what I can do. Oh man. Well... We know what my final score is now. I think it's going to come out to plus 10. But hey, we'll figure that out when we get there. All right, for my last throw, I laid it right here. Thought I'd give y'all a good shot. So let's just see what I can do with it. Hey, I'll take it. This is one of my worst games I've played. But hey, not the best way to start a channel. But hey, it's one way. But all right, well, I enjoyed spending today with y'all. I'm really grateful that I was able to record this video, have the stuff to do it. But hey, I'll see y'all next time. Take it easy.